Hello, Rupa here from Crafters Corner. I'm back with another video tutorial. With uh, one round of festivities gone, we're getting ready for the next one to come. I'm sure many of you are getting ready with handmade gifts and personalized gifts for your loved near dear ones and relatives. So I have some options for you today. We're going to work with some uh, Cadence candle paints today. And of course, the Dora metallic paints, which I did last week or a couple of weeks uh, back, which I used on glass last time and ceramic this time we would use it on wood and of course i'm going to uh, work with candles i told you um, festivity is approaching so i'm sure candles make a lot of sense for the uh, gifting part so let's jump start there's a lot of myth on candle decoupage so i want to show you how i decoupage my uh, candles and whether it can be lit whether it is safe to be lit all those myths and questions keep coming around so i'm going to show you some practical uh, um, tips um, when in doubt actually try it don't ever go by what other people say you're not going to be convinced so unless you try it you are not going to be convinced so I had this candle which has been burning for a couple of hours and I'm going to light it right now in front of you as I'm going to be doing this project so let's see what happens to the candle okay so here it is it has been decoupaged just showing it to you okay it has been decoupaged it had some candle paint on the top well, it just fell off and then chipped just before the video. That's okay. Um, and as you can see, the one hour of burning, it has just made a cup in the center. The rims are still intact. The tissue is still intact. Well, I'm going to still light it again and let it just keep going as we are doing the project. So you can have one eye there. I will have my eye on the project. Suit yourself. There you go. The candle is lit very much as much. Yes, let that be in the backdrop okay and i have uh, two more pillar candles here small ones these are three inch bright white pillar candles and what are the tissues yes these are the lovely tissues from uh, crafters corner before that let me show you there's one more uh, candle which has been decoupaged here with some gold candle paint okay just distress the edges these make lovely gifts for the approaching festive season okay so let that be by the side Alrighty, no, you're not visible. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so the tissues I've chosen are floral ones with a little green because what I have with me is a nice green candle paint. So these come in three colors, red, gold and green. Perfect for the festivities, right? So grab your paints and you will see how innovative and creative you can get with this candle paint. Okay, so tissues, I have the candle with me. Okay, the candle paint is there. Now, how do you decoupage a tissue onto wax? There are many, many, many options. Either you mod purge it, people use a heating uh, tool, people use the uh, heat gun. So many ways to do, but I have uh, my own way of decoupaging it. So I have this little mini craft iron, which is also available at Crafter's Corner. You may ask what is the other uh, uses for any crafting purposes that you want to iron out. You can use this mini iron. You don't have to bring you, bring your big chunky one to do these things. So this is nice and cute, very handy. Okay, so decoupaging tissue onto candles with this mini crafty iron is definitely possible. I have a wooden block on which I'm going to lay this and let that get heated. Before that, let us work on the design. Of course, you can mod podge it. You can use a heating tool. Whatever suits you. I prefer this method. So, well, I've got this tissue and with me. And I'm going to cut the lower half, if you can see. Okay. Approximately, I'm going to take some three inches off. Okay. And then tear it. And as you know, tissues come in layers. So let's separate the layers. And mind you, my iron is getting uh, heated up. Okay, so there's no Mod Podge involved in this. Just the iron and the tissue. Okay, that's how this one has been decoupaged. And you can see it is burning. Okay, so let me roughly place this. Okay, so that seems like a perfect wrap. Okay, three inches, a little taller on the inside so what I'm going to do is bring it a little down okay or maybe let me chop a little more off 
So coming back to this candle, I'm just going to place my design here, straight. Okay, then I have my iron, just giving it a press, if you can see. Okay, it just settles down the tissue. Don't leave the iron in one spot, then you will be melting the wax a bit too much, and then you will have some dents. Okay, so just keep going at it. This is safe, compact, non messy. You just keep going. I just love the ironing method. Cute little iron. Very handy. It doesn't get too hot at all. Just enough for you to decoupage. Okay. So the excess, I could just take it down. Okay. Mind you, I'm doing this all in one go. I'm not even waiting. Okay, you have the option of either cutting this off or you could do like this because I'm confident I'm going to have the candle paint coming on top so I can cover this up. Okay. So this is nice and sealed if you can see. Okay, wherever you think you see white spots, just go over it just crease it better yeah so there are no dents and it looks one seamless thing if you can see okay it's all sealed all right now what I'm going to do is cover the top portion with a candle paint this is a nice green okay emerald green yes just just perfect for the festivities just work with your brush and paint that's it there's nothing else nothing fancy in this so you could cover the top it's a nice metallic green however thick or thin that you want you could go about covering this can you light this candle once it is painted yes of course the one to your left is burning so candle paints are made for that purpose. So go ahead. Don't you worry about coloring your candles now. What are the other uses? How else can you use this candle paint? You need to get creative. I could probably just distress it a bit in the edges. Okay. So red and gold are the other colors which are available. I will have some pictures at the end where I have used other metallic paints for the uh, candles you may if you want to color the base too totally up to you I'm just distressing the edges okay so this is a nice emerald green So how have you been planning and what have you been planning for the uh, gifting purposes for this festive season? Do leave me a comment. Okay, so there you go. That's how it looks. Okay, this candle here. Now let's, uh, I probably could show you what else can be uh, done with this metallic paint. Okay, now I have uh, these long uh, regular pillar candles. These are these regular ones slightly thicker ones so what I have done this was a plain candle okay what I have done is I've just wrapped a masking tape around it and I'm going to just apply the green paint on the rest of the area okay so however I'm going to show you the use of Dora metallic paints at the end of this video on wood so you could use your candle stands and spruce it up with chalk paints and Dora metallic paints and then have these candles sitting on them would make a perfect gift definitely very festive glam colorful metallic vintage rustic however you want it to look okay okay so as that candle is drying with the metallic paint I wanted to show you I have these three little pieces now 
which again I would like to show how to decoupage with the candle uh, on the candle with the iron so here's the iron okay and you give it just a gentle the moment the heat comes in contact with the wax as you know the wax melts and then pushes the tissue inside so this completely seals the tissue for you just remember not to leave the iron for too long in one spot so that you melt a whole lot of candle and you don't want candle dripping and creating dents so that's here and then let's have a little bird here okay so these are random pieces just want to show you how you can work even with random pieces of tissues okay so that's one here with the bird okay I like that I like how the bird is sitting here okay okay and then we have one more design here bit of flowers okay Overlapping too much, no, just about right. Okay, so there you go. Okay, like I said, this is the perfect size the iron for you to decoupage the tissues onto candle. Okay, so let me trim this and then show you how it looks. Okay, so I have uh, decoupaged this and I've used uh, the gold color paint here. You must check out the range of candles also available at uh, Crafters Corner. Have a look at their website. So you have the tissues, you have the cadence paints, you have the candles and you have the iron and you have all of the materials available in one website. Now, isn't that exciting? So grab all of them and start making your festive uh, gifts today. So now I have this one. Which was painted okay and the masking tape i am going to remove that in front of you so as we unwrap that so there are random designs i don't want the candle to be just getting oh my god don't tell me this was not dry okay all right so i'm careful now i'm just holding it by the tip by the head and tail just to show you the random pattern here okay doesn't that look beautiful an ordinary candle just spruced up with some metallic paints I'm sure that will look good okay so that's one idea that you could do you could come up with uh, different patterns and designs that you could do to mask a candle and then use these uh, candle paints just so if you've been paying attention to the left hand side you can see the candle is still burning okay the walls are still intact don't want to come too close to the camera the walls are intact the tissue is intact okay it's just that the paint is melting along with the wax no harm here okay go ahead most of these candles when decoupaged are for decorative purposes but then if you do want to light it once in a way there is no harm so just go ahead and do it and these candle paints are safe to be lit so that's what i wanted to show you okay so it's still burning 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 okay you can see just that it's going deeper and deeper leaving a nice wall around so the tissue is not burnt it's just that the candle paint melts along with the wax and there's no harm in that okay so i'm now going to show you how you can work with dora metallic paints on wood last week we did on uh, glass and ceramic so this time i'm going to show you how you can work with wood so that's in a bit as for the candle decoupage like i said Grab these candles, tissues and paints from Crafter's Corner. Your method of decoupaging tissues. I've told you this is my tried and tested version and I like it this way. So go ahead. Let me know if you have any uh, problems or any comments that you have regarding this decoupage. I will definitely get back to you. So let's now get started on working with the Dora metallic paints on wood. Okay. Now that the candles have been decoupaged and then painted with the uh, candle paint, we move on to the next step where I wanted to show you how to use the Dora metallic paints on wood. I have these two uh, blank wood pieces with me, which I have uh, painted with chalk paints. Acrylic paints, black and brown to give it 
a dry brushed the wood kind of effect and here is one with the vintage legend antique gesso from Kedans and this one is a nice burgundy color nice rich red color in fact okay so I have given that you can see the slight sandy texture also from it so that's how it is the plain blank wood boards which have been painted using the chalk paints next I want to show you the Dora metallic paints of course for the uh, festive thing we would be using tints of gold maybe a bit of green I don't know I've not decided and I have with me the Kedans stencil one of these jumbo stencils with the doily flourish I like this one so I'm thinking I'll go on the wood one with this okay so I want to cover most of this then go about with a stencil brush many of you have different techniques of using stencils and paint but I prefer the stencil brush and going about in circular motion you have to see it that the paint is not too overloaded in the brush otherwise it will see through the stencil and I also like it a little here and there not a perfect finish so that kind of gives it an automatically distressed and a vintage look are we ready to take the stencil off let's do that see so this is the effect that we get on the wooden plank okay a random stenciling here I thought maybe if we just place the candle like this the floral arrangement also it should look good so let that be there maybe I can do a bit of distressing on the sides and we can cut and dry sponge here I have a little sponge with me so what we can do is distress the edges okay There's something about browns and golds right especially when it becomes festive the fair it's always about the golds and I don't like the bright gold mind you this is a nice antique gold I like the finish of this gold you see that and we could also dry brush some gold on the sides it's a beautiful painted finish you have to see it and use it to believe it adheres to any surface like I told you in the previous video whether it is ceramics glass wood in fact just see you don't see the paint at all I mean it doesn't show up as a layer of paint okay so that's oops that's one next is the red one I'm thinking I'll go with a little gold and little what do I say green for this I have a stencil which I got from a local store it's got patterns and designs flourishes to a bit of gold silver gold this time okay so there it is in the center random brushing here I'm not going to move the stencil and then take some green at the same time like this go over with a bit of green not everywhere okay so just maybe over the edges also So let's see the effect of green and gold here okay can you see that and for the edges okay there you go that's done and since I plan to keep the candle here I don't think we need to do much 
okay and what's remaining in the brush we could probably just a bit of distressing on the edges I hope you can see the effect of the metallic paints on rich dark colors almost like a print okay I'm just distressing the edges with the leftover paint from the brush I like the two tone of gold and green here very nice so that's done let me do the arrangement I'm thinking where's the golden one probably this one here and the green one here so I think that should look good let me do the arrangement and then come back and show it to you so the wooden plaques have been stenciled with Dora metallic paints and of course distressed with the same paints itself they are dry almost like a nice block print can you see the double tone here with the green and the gold against the rich red backdrop I think it looks wonderful it's just so festive I just love this not that brown is not my favorite at all I love the brown and the gold the shimmer that the gold brings through on the dry brushed wood effect okay so these are the two plaques and I have done a floral arrangement on both this one has again handmade foamerone flowers in nice rich red color so I distressed the edges of the flower also using the gold paint which was left on the brush if you can see okay there's a coconut coir beneath I somehow like the use of coconut coir as a base for floral arrangements it gives a nice structure to it and something very natural about it so yes and some uh, leaves and uh, more flowers so that kind of makes it really rustic and the red pops from the brown so maybe you could keep the candle like this for this one we'll have pictures in the end the camera doesn't capture this from all the angles so I shall have pictures at the end do see them for this red one I've just kept one nice big flower okay with the coconut coir again beneath right and then we can have a candle here the idea is you could just move around the candles the way you want okay so that's pretty much the end of the tutorial so we learned how to decoupage a tissue onto candle using uh, the mini iron and then of course using candle paints to pep it up and give that shiny festive look and then using the Rora metallic paints on wood this time to pep up wooden plagues and do a floral arrangement along with the candle decor so this is very festive for the coming season I am sure you would love making something like this for your friends and relatives so all products available at crafters corner do give me a thumbs up if you liked this tutorial and of course do subscribe if you haven't I'll come back with more tutorials if there's any doubt that you have on candle decoupage and the use of these paints do leave a comment I'll get back to you thank you bye bye and let's not forget the candle sorry it's still burning it's still burning I don't want to get it close okay so I hope all your myths and doubts on using candle paints decoupage and then lighting the candle is cleared you can light the candle for however long that you want you can see that the rim is still there the wall thin wall the tissue is not burnt okay it's still going strong it's more than two hours now okay Thank you. Bye-bye.